Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of my favorite kind of canning. That's where we throw out the recipe book and we just wing it. We've got a great pot roast we're gonna put together in a can along with the fixings. And if you hang on till after the break, we'll show you how we did it. Alright guys, like I said, today we're going to put away the recipe books and we're going to make us a pot roast with uh, potatoes and carrots and uh, we're going to do it without a recipe, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to do it in a safe manner. Now if you're going to can like this, you probably ought to have been canning for a little while and understand the basic principles of canning. We're going to put these ingredients in the jars, but we're going to, we're going to can them according to the ingredients that take the longest to process. So in this case, it's gonna be the meat. We're gonna process it for 90 minutes and uh, everything else processes for less time. So it'll be safe to do in the can together. But uh, if you're gonna go off recipe, please be careful. There's a, there's a lot of great recipes in your, in your ball canning book or, or Kerr or any of the other great canning recipe books that are out there. But um, if you're gonna go off the books like we are today, then uh, you've got to be careful about it. So we're gonna process according to the longest ingredient that we use today. And uh, we're gonna stay safe about it even though we're having some fun. So let's get to the footage. We'll take a look at it and see how we did it. Isn't that a lovely sight? Guys, today we're gonna be canning pot roast and we're gonna do just a classic uh, potatoes and carrots and meat. We've decided we're going to do two loads through the pressure canner, so that's 14 quarts. Now, we don't have an exact recipe. This is the roast we got on sale, so we're going to break it down. We don't have that many carrots, so we'll make sure we get those all in. And the rest of the space in the jars, we're going to eat up with the potatoes. So there's no super recipe, but uh, the bouillon you're going to see us use is uh, made by Better Than Bouillon. It's uh, fairly organic. And we're going to be using some Lipton onion soup in our in our base too. So when we go to fill the jars, that's what we'll be back filling them with. But we're going to get to chopping, and we'll bring you back when we get a little bit closer. All right, guys, we got that pile of meat broke down, and we did uh, a little bit of trimming just for the just for the harshest fat. But we want to go ahead and leave some of that fat in there, and uh, we're not going to parboil it like we did the chicken we want to actually want the fat to remain in the jars and give us some flavor but we broke down some of the potatoes and we got the carrots broke down but we got some potatoes on standby just in case we don't get the jars full enough but there's not a real recipe like i said we're just going to start building these jars out and we'll uh, bring you back and show you that process all right guys we started building out these jars now We've got them about halfway full, but we've still got a few carrots and a few potatoes left. And uh, we got our meat divided out so we know what we're going to put in there. But we're going to go ahead and add. We brought in some of our onions that we grew this year from the porch. They've been out there curing. And uh, we're also busted open a jar of our pickled garlic cloves. So we've divided them up. We're going to put in a four pickled cloves of garlic. Now garlic's not as strong once it's pickled, so four cloves isn't too much for a jar. But maybe we'll do a video one of these days on how we pickle our garlic. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and add some garlic, some meat, some onions, potatoes and carrots, and I'll bring you back and show you Tina finishing out building the jars. Alrighty guys, Tina's getting ready to start building out these jars. She's uh, adding the garlic. But here, say hi to everybody. T. Hi. We we're gonna we we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these loaded, and we'll bring you back and we'll uh, show you what they look like when they're fully loaded. And then we've got to build the we've got to put together some uh, broth to go in them. But this is kind of a long, slow process, so we'll cut away. We'll come back when these jars are full, and we'll show you how we do our broth. All right, guys, we got our two loads of seven jars each built out 
and we cut up a couple of extra potatoes just to fill in the tops there but uh, the potatoes are cheap so we want to make sure we get the good stuff in first so we'll uh, go ahead and uh, we're gonna get the broth ready to go we'll get seven of these ready to go we're gonna set seven of the other seven off in the refrigerator for a little bit but uh, we'll get these ready to roll and we'll show you that broth here in just a second all right guys we're getting ready to make this broth and uh, Tina's added 16 cups of water and uh, she's putting in her fourth uh, this stuff's really sticky <laughs> but uh, she's adding she's adding her fourth tablespoon of the better than bullion beef broth but it's really good stuff yeah it is good stuff and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and add our uh, one package of a uh, Lipton onion soup so we'll go ahead and get that in there and we'll get it all mixed up and then uh, we'll get that up to temperature and then we'll bring you back once that gets to a boil and we'll start canning up this uh, pot roast we've made here. Alright guys, we're getting ready to uh, start canning up this uh, awesome uh, pot roast we got going on here. Uh, Tino of throw the liquid in there and then we'll get the bubbles out we got some uh, wide mouth lids going on back here we get some rings on them we'll get them over here in the canner but uh, anything with meat in it we're gonna can the appropriate pressure for our altitude and uh, we're gonna run 90 minutes so we didn't add any seasoning or anything to the broth we went ahead and put onions and garlic in with the in with the pot roast so uh, we don't we didn't add any additional seasoning we did go through I'll tell you we did go through with a small strainer and take the onion bits out of that Lipton onion soup mix we put in there we weren't sure we wanted all that floating around in our pot roast so we went ahead and took those out but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of this canned up like I said we'll run it get you a good look at it there we'll run it for 90 minutes and then we'll bring you back and to show you what it looks like all right guys we'll jump back in here and uh, we've had this going for uh, 90 minutes we've allowed it to cool all the way down and waited for the plunger to drop and we've cracked the lid open and uh, we're just going to let it sit here for 10 or 15 minutes and uh, just cool off a little bit that'll uh, if you guys will do that and be real patient and just let them sit for a little bit that'll save you a lot of trouble with your cans boiling over a lot of times they get temperature shocked and that's what causes the boil out but uh, we're gonna leave this for 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll bring you back and show you what the final product looks like all right guys we're gonna jump in here Tina's getting ready to start taking them out so we'll follow over to the table and we'll get you guys a look at how they turned out there's a let's if I can get out of the light any But you can see the good broth down there in the bottom now those will settle back down to the bottom but you can see the carrots and stuff in there there's a good looking one but that beef that's in there will be all nice and soft like a pot roast and we'll have the carrots and potatoes and onions and all the fixings already in the jar so they're pretty much a ready-made meal so want to get you in here and get you a look at them we still got another batch to run we've had that one coming back up to room temperature since uh, we turned the heat off on these so we're gonna go ahead and get that batch canned up but we wanted to show you the final product and I'll be right back to talk to you guys all right guys that's about gonna wrap it up for the video we had a great time making the pot roast and uh, man I can tell you the kitchen smells fantastic so that is uh that is 14 good meals that we'll have to open up at a moment's notice and uh, they don't need to be overly cooked we can warm them up and uh, that'll be nice if we get we get stuck here in the winter time or uh, or we can't get out then we'll have a we'll have a meal that's ready to go and uh, some good healthy eating that uh, i'm sure tastes good i can tell you by the smell that our whole kitchen in fact our whole house smells fantastic so 
If you enjoyed the video today, we hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you would, leave us a comment down below. Your thumbs up and comments tell YouTube to show our videos to more people, and we really appreciate that. We also take our cues from you about where we're going to, what direction we want to take the channel. So the more comments that you leave down there, we read them all and we do our best. Even, even though we're getting a, our channel's getting a little bit bigger, we still make a good effort to get down there and respond to every single person that leaves us a comment. We read them all. So the more you guys leave comments down there, we'll read them and, and then we'll uh, decide which direction to take the channel. But the more you comment, the more you'll probably enjoy your stay here. But uh, if you're new to the channel we and you like the content, we hope you'll subscribe. There's a subscribe button down below. Next to that button is a bell. Um, if you ring that bell, then, uh, then YouTube will send you a notification whenever we release a new video, which is a great way to keep up with the channel. But uh, now if you didn't catch yesterday's video, we did a, we canned up some chicken and we showed you how to do it without all that snow and stuff floating around in it. Um, it's a, uh, it just makes it look awful looking. So we've got a way that we clear it up and uh, we hope that you'll enjoy that. I'm gonna leave a link to it up above. But like I said, if you would, please, uh, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment before you head on over and check that video out. The, um, the thumbs up and comments really help us and we, we really could use the, use the support. So we hope you enjoyed the videos. We hope you enjoy even more of our videos. We'll catch you in the next one.